Hi, I'm Brent. Today we've got a fantastic update to show you some comparisons of engines before they're built. And what we're going to do in the next five minutes is talk about the difference between the 2 litre engine, the 2.5 litre engine, and the difference between the STI and the WRX engine when you're talking about the 2.5 and the various modifications which are quite common. So let's start at the first one. At the moment, out of the box, this is a factory EJ 207 engine. Now it comes factory stand. This is a model that came out in the uh, 0203 STI. Factory forged pistons, really, really tough piston, can take a fair bit of boost. Uh, the rods that are in the in the block assembly are okay. Um, and for a, for a value for money package of op options, really good value. We sell these blocks all day, every day, ready to build. And you can see we've already put some uh, ARP head studs in it and you can tell they're the ARP ones because they've got a small um, stamping on the top and the ARP ones actually have an Allen key socket in the top here to make it easy for the engine build up to screw the studs into the factory original block. Now one thing, just take a note how thick the uh, wall assembly is on the 2 litre engine of this original factory standard. Remember this is virgin, nothing's been modified other than just putting the uh, the bolts in place. And then let's have a look at the modified EJ207 which has been closed decked. We've had to take some of the material out to reline it. And this is actually an insert. It's not what you would normally call a, uh, a liner. It's actually an insert to take advantage of allowing us to come up with a better piston to bore clearance. And of course have a look at the difference between these 14mm head studs as opposed to the other ones here. Um, you can notice they're substantially bigger and of course with this modification, with the head studs, with the closed decking, there's a lot of other features and benefits that we won't talk about. You can check out our other videos but just take note of the differences and you can see if you compare this thickness here is the original wall thickness of an EJ207 um, and remember this liner relative like it's under a $500 insert saves a set of original factory pistons when you wanted to do some modifications such as closed decking. Now then Let's have a look here. Now this is an EJ255. It's not a 257, it's a 255. So this is the WRX engine. The difference between the 255 and the 257 is the STI being a 257 has a nitrided crank and it's a much tougher crank, whereas the WRX has got a different crank. Effectively, a lot of the other parts are very similar. In fact, the blocks are very similar in their casting um, features. But just have a look in detail and you can see closely here the th wall thickness before we put the closed decking in between the piston to bore and the actual thickness of the bore itself. And let's just go straight back to the original factory standard block and you can see how this is much thicker because the piston diameter is smaller so the, the actual parent material remains fairly thick. And that's one of the reasons why these early model blocks are so tough to start with. So when you're looking for some options and upgrades of your package, these are things you need to consider. And one last thing, I just want to show you this set of um, new head studs that we're using now are even thicker on their um, main shaft here, um, right up to the thread, whereas these 14mm head studs are necked down a little bit. Different brand, different design, different feature. These are the ones that we're starting to use now, which are a slightly newer design. And um, this is one of the, all these three engines have got separate videos that we're talking about at the moment because we're doing a lot of engines. And this is one of the things that provides us a fantastic opportunity to share for yourself what the differences are between these components when you're deciding on your performance upgrades. Whether you've got an early model car and you're going for a, a bigger 2.5 litre upgrade or you've got an early model car and you're going for a lower cost uh, short block replacement out of the crate. This is an engine we're building for a client interstate and we're going to put it all together. He shipped all his original parts back to us. We'll ship him back in a complete engine ready to go. So check out some of our other videos on our channel here. Make a comment at the bottom of this uh, video. I'd love to hear from you and uh, we can answer some of your questions where we can. We do our best. We get a lot of questions. So sometimes we can't answer every one of them. But share the video around to show your friends. And of course, go to our website. You can do some search commands and you can find details of these short block engines or crate engines that we do a lot more mods on. And um, we hope to help for you with more information in the future. But for this time now, my name is Brett Middleton. No matter where you are in the world, thanks for watching.